Hello friends, hi. Vinayak here and I have with me uh, Mohamed Hamza and I'm very glad to have Hamza here with me today because he's one of our favorite students and it gives me a lot of happiness to say that he has gotten rank 4 uh, AML rank in INISS GI surgery uh, which was conducted recently. So Hamza, how does it feel? So it was a very good feeling for me because for this exam I have truly worked very hard and uh, it was my dream to get in top five in AIMS. That's true. So it was a very long process. And uh, that's why I'm feeling so very great, sir. Ah. So, Amza, um, I think uh, people are very eager to know about your journey. So just tell us about your journey into surgical gastro, right from UG, PG. And uh, I know you have, this is not the first time you have given the exam. So you have done this multiple number of times. So yes, uh, tell us a little more about it. Sir, I have started my undergrad uh, UG journey from Ames Patna. Then uh, from that time only the Ames have started peripheral Ames. So it was Lacuna, sir, from uh, All India. I was getting KGMC Lucknow and some good colleges. But I have chosen for Ames Patna. Then over a period of five years, it was a very good journey at my institute. Then in PG entrance also, I got All India rank 95 in uh, uh, INICT, that is Ames at that time. So at that time, I was getting every branch from radiology to medicine to surgery to orthopedics. But I have uh, chosen this uh, uh, surgery because I had a plan to go in HPB and liver transplant. From there onwards, at that time, I decided to go for a general surgery and then in the GI surgery in the after that. I mean, uh, having that clarity right at you know, MBBS stage that you want to be a liver transplant, GI surgeon, I think that requires a lot of, you know, I don't know, resilience and, uh, you know, motivation, I would say. Yeah. Yes, sir. Everyone was uh, telling me to go for some branch like radiology. So life will be easy. But I that's why it's something like it's very close to my heart to go for surgery and uh, liver surgery. That's why I have chosen in spite of some obstacles from my parents or my siblings. And uh, I think I think you've done a great choice. This thing I'm sure you will turn out to be a fantastic HPB and liver transplant surgeon. I think uh, God's wishes and our blessings are always there with you. Thank so, you, sir. Thank you. Tell us about your INISS journey, sir. Uh, basically, I have completed my MS in 2021 December. Thereafter, I have joined my SRship because my uh, uh, unit head was the HOD. Uh, so he told to continue as SR because I was very backbone of the unit. So he told me, and I was also in a favor to work for some time so that uh, when I, I will join SG, I will have a better. Because during my S, uh, MS days, sir, my HOD was from Ames, Delhi. So he used to do all the transhandal esophagectomies, uh, whipples. So I was I, I have seen all these surgery. So it pas passionates me for that. So after uh, completing my MS, I joined as a SR. So during SR ship, it was uh, initially it was okay, but uh, later I, I found that it is getting difficult to get rank. But uh, during that time, I got uh, 170 neat SSR. And uh, so which, year, but, which year was this? Uh, so last year. This okay. year I got 533. Last year I got uh, 170. But I have no, never prepared for neat SSR. This was just like a mock exam for me. And I went there and just wrote the exam. I was a little bothered to take that exam seriously, sir. But I was very focused on GI surgery. For that, sir, I I, I, I want to tell two things that. Uh, the two things are, one is to prepare for GI surgery and one is to prepare for G, uh, general surgery. These two things are totally different, sir. Because I, I was very okay with GI surgery. In the last April session, I got rank 11. But due to some silly mistakes in general surgery, my rank went to 11 and there was only six seats there. So I was not able to make up. So at this time, I sir, worked on my weak part, that is the general surgery. For that, uh, I have taken search test app. That is uh, very uh, open for that. I have uh, seen, I have taken the question bank every, because it was very structured search. I have gone through a lot of QBank from all the platforms. But the search test QBank was very structured, like belly every chapter to chapter. So I have given, I have remembered all the answers. What are the, especially the solution of search test is a very class. Sir. And uh, that helped me to get my general surgery, uh, uh, remembering question or what we can say, memory based question to write. 
so that helped me sir and uh, i am very thankful to sir sir and for gi surgery part sir i studied sabiston uh, through and through and mn for the difficult parts like uh, hyalurcolangiocarcinoma psc i and uh, uh, cystic neoplasm of pancreas especially the branch duct and all the mutation for that part i selectively go for uh, search test gi surgery question bank that also helps me a lot to see all the percentage and everything sir good man good i think i think i think uh, you given us a proper insight about this thing so you you so both the general surgery question bank and the search test gi surgery question yes sir bank, i have a, a crucial part of your preparation yes yes sir and i'm very so it is very clear that uh, it is not about giving exam again and again it is important to recognize your mistake that is the key thing and uh, in that exam it is a sir they play with your mind in the exam, you how much you prepared but in the exam the, the way they uh, set the four option uh, that is how to crack that is very important so the difficult topics like cholangiocarcinoma every time they ask uh, some difficulty difficult things from colangi or psc so for that i was very prepared and uh, in that search us uh, especially the q bank helps me a lot uh, so i have taken uh, that 3 uh, to 4 months before and i have gone through search test for bank very with clarity to which um, domain i have to see so coming back to your textbook preparation uh, hamza i think um, did you study shackleford and bloomgart specifically as a textbook sir as i have given the exams so i got the idea in in especially in the general part of the bloom gut that they have given the radiology and basic in that i have studied some selective areas and in shackleford also i have studied the peptic ulcer disease and all the specific area that are very specific that aims us duodenal stump blow out peptic ulcer disease in that i have uh, went to the some selected areas of shackleford and bloom gut good man good 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 yeah i think hamza uh, you i think uh, given us a good idea about how to prepare so tell me how was your routine so you were you left your work or were you studying along with working when did you leave your work and how many months of preparation did it take sir uh, ideally the preparation will last for 4 to 5 months because i have completed my sr ship in january thereafter i was solely dedicated so i what uh, my routine was to study gi surgery in the morning hours from 5 of 6 o'clock to up to 1 o'clock something like that in evening i used to fix my time for the general surgery so in the morning time i used to spend 6 to 7 hours for G- gi surgery part and in the evening 2 to 3 hour for general surgery i was knowing my weak area that uh, the general surgery is going to affect me especially the shocks especially the nutrition and all this uh, ssi part because i was good at breast and endocrine surgery so every time i got a question right but in general surgery i got stuck this time also i made three to four mistakes that lead to i got four otherwise i it will be better definitely it's not very easy to get better from four there are just three ranks above you but yes i like the like like the way you are able to self introspect and uh, identify your weakness and strengths yes, yeah, so i'm sure i think uh, it's this been pretty illuminating and from the conversation i think the most interesting thing which you learned is that you wish to be a liver transplant surgeon hopefully yes, and uh, you are from patna and i i really hope that you bring uh, a, a lot of glory to your city your state and yes, uh, be the foremost surgeon in that part of the country uh, in liver transplant so wishing mm-hmm. you all the very best hamza and i think uh, uh, one thing i must tell all the viewers is that hamza was a very active part of the groups uh, uh, the whatsapp groups uh, uh, and looking at his study schedule i don't think he spent uh, any more time on social media other than looking at the search of whatsapp groups but yes i think uh, uh, i am super super duper glad to have hamza and uh, you know as a uh, and i don't i wouldn't like to call myself a teacher but as some sort of a, a small time mentor it gives me a lot of joy and happiness to you know to 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 see good students do really well i think uh, hard work is rewarded and i think uh, that's amazing thank you so much hamza one thing sir i want to say sir the out of the whole question bank that is present the search test q bank is very special that i feel sir because the structured way the which was given all the general and gi it is it's very helpful even the all the juniors that who are taking now i tell that the it will set up how to study the general surgery part thank you sir
thank you so much i think i think these words mean a lot and i think uh, we are also a small group of surgeons it's uh, this was created personally by me and dr gopi gopi is a gi surgeon and yes, I, we both finished our mcs recently so uh, i think uh, uh, it gives us a lot of joy to hear these words thank you so much hamza thank you sir the words mean a lot to us thank you sir Thanks. good evening sir